how to use if function in Excel with four different criteria, four different conditions through this practical example. We're going to see how can we do it step by step and we're going to solve here two real problems. The first one is to automate the task that I need to do here and the standard if function only allow me to use two different criteria, two conditions. But here I'm going to show you how can we use three, four, five or more different criteria within the if function. Let's start here and understand what I have in this practical example. As the first column, I have the student's names, and then I have here four different tests and the, and the grade that each one of the students got in each one of the tests, one, two, and three, and four. Then in the next column, I have here final, where I have actually the average of all these previews grade that each one of the students got. And then as the final column is the final grade itself, I need to fill it in with the final grade. But instead of using here, again, the values, numbers, 7, 9, 6.8, and so on, so on, I need to instead use here letters. So A, B, C, or D. If a student, let's say, got uh, greater than or equal to 9 as result, as final grade, so I need to change. Instead of using the grade itself, I'm going to use A, for example. If a student got a grade that is greater than or equal to 7, so he got a B, and so on and so on. So basically, I need to follow here these four different criteria, four different conditions. We basically have here in Excel two options to use. The first one is equal sign ifs function, for example. But if you don't have this option, ifs, you can also use the if function itself. But with the if function, we're going to have a problem. That is, the if function, let me just double click here, want you to select, only allow me to use two conditions, two criteria, the value if it's true and the value if it's false, A or B, for example. Let's take a look here with this practical example and uh, we're going to understand why this happened and how can we solve it. The logical test is the first thing that the if function is asking me. My logical test here is going to be if the final grade that I have, the student got 7, 9, 6.8, and so on, so on. So if the final grade, for example, is greater than or equal to, I need to use here these two symbols, greater than or equal to, let's start with the 9, comma, if it's true, so I need to type it in the letter A. But instead of filling in, typing in here, I'm going to click in the cell because I already have the A type it in here with inside the, the, the cell right, right there. Then I'm going to just press F4 key to lock the reference because whenever I click in the cell and drag down, I want to do this reference right here. The A reference is stay in the same cell, for example. I don't want to the reference of the cell drag along with the function. I want to the reference is stay in the K2 cell, okay? So this is why I just press here F4 key, comma. So if the student got a grade that is greater than or equal to 9, so it's going to gonna get as result the letter A, for example. But else, if it's not true, if it's a grade that is less than 9, for example, I still have three options here, three conditions. It can be B or C or D. But here in the if function, it's only allow me to append one more criteria. So to solve this problem, I'm going to use the if function again, but this time within the if function. If, I'm going to double click here again, want you to select. Now we have a nested function because we are using a function within another function, nested function. The logical test that uh, the if function is asking me, we already know how to do it. So. If the final grade that a student got, let's say 7, that we have right there, but I just need to check this final grade is now greater than or equal to 7, for example, like this, comma. So I need to input here the second criteria that is going to be as result the B letter. F for P to lock the reference, comma. I need to use two more criteria to finish here my function. So that way, instead of using just one more criteria that uh, is the if function is allow me to use here, I'm going to append another if function here. If, double click to, to select one, two. The logical test that I'm going to use here is going to be if this final grade right here 
now let's say is greater than or equal to 6 if so comma i need to get as result the letter c for example this cell right here and then f4 key to lock the reference comma now we can just finish the function if the first criteria is not met if the second criteria is not met if the third criteria is not met so the only thing left for us is the last condition so the letter d this is what you're going to choose here now i'm going to click in the letter d f4 key to lock the reference i'm going to close parentheses one more time one more time this is how we can use the if function in excel with many criteria as many as conditions as you need to use if you need more criteria you can continue to append the if function within the if function if you need let's say just three criteria you only gonna need to use two if functions but if you need to use let's say maybe 10 different criteria you're gonna need to use maybe nine times the if function but okay let's stick with this four different conditions here enter okay we got the first result and we basically then we automate this spreadsheet and I also input these four different criteria within my if function. Let me click here now in the in this this cell right here. I'm gonna double click here in the right now corner, one two, to make sure I can drag down the function to all the rows that I have, and we basically done. And it's also dynamic. Whenever I change here any result, so let's say Peter, Peter got here a seven as final grade. And uh, that way he got a B as the final result. If I change, let's say, the test 3 to instead of using 5, I'm going to use 10, enter. And instead of using here as the, the test 4, 6, I'm going to change to 10. I uh, again, yeah, enter. And as you guys can see, now Peter have here 9.3 and also a final grade that is equal to A. So it's dynamic. Whenever you change any value, any result, the function is going to automatically be updated for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As ever, there has any video, I see you there.